সুপ্রিয় চিকিৎসক বৃন্দ এবং সম্মানিত উপস্থাপকগণ সবাইকে আজকে বেরি ফিজিশিয়ান্স দ্বারা আয়োজিত ওয়েবিনারে আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত যথারীতি আয়োজনে আছি আমরা বেরি ফিজিশিয়ান্স এবং আমাদের আজকের সায়েন্টিফিক পার্টনার হিসেবে যুক্ত হয়েছে পাওয়ার ফার্মার লিমিটেড আজকে আমাদের সাথে উপস্থিতি আছেন দুজন ওয়ার্ল্ড ক্লাস ফিজিশিয়ান্স প্রফেসর রিদওয়ানুর রহমান স্যার এবং প্রফেসর প্রদীপ কুমার দত্ত স্যার আমি শুরুতেই সংক্ষেপে দুইজনের পরিচিতি জানিয়ে রাখছি আমাদের আজকের স্পিকার হলেন প্রফেসর মোহাম্মদ রিদওয়ানুর রহমান উনি একজন রিনাল মেডিসিন অ্যান্ড ইনফ্রাকচার ডিজিজ স্পেশালিস্ট অ্যান্ড হি ইজ আ কাউন্সিলর অফ বাংলাদেশ কলেজ অফ ফিজিশিয়ান্স অ্যান্ড সার্জেন্স আমাদের চেয়ারপারসন হিসেবে আজকে আছেন প্রফেসর প্রদীপ কুমার দত্ত হি ইজ এ এক্স ভাইস প্রিন্সিপাল অ্যান্ড দ্য হেড অফ ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ নেফ্রোলজি চিটাং মেডিকেল কলেজ আমাদের আজকের টপিক হলো অ্যাপ্রোচ টু এলইউটিএস আমরা এখন আমি এখন ইনভাইট করছি আমাদের চেয়ারপারসন প্রদীপ কুমার দত্ত স্যারকে যাতে উনি আমাদের সেশনটা আজকে শুরু করেন এবং রেদন স্যারকে ইনভাইট করেন thank you sir for nice introduction of us uh, today session as you know uh, we given by professor mohammed ridwan rahman or boro bhai kono sambandh ashole kono kichu bolar dorkar nai uh, is self introduction ebong uh, unar ajke je presentation over uh, united symptoms actually uh, this is this is required in every discipline of the medicine from the uh, urology up to the medicine and even for the gp so we hope that you will learn many simple things how to manage the lower index symptoms how to approach it and how to diagnose what are the limitation of the gp and other disciplines and what is the system of the referral of the lower index symptoms patient relation to the respective urologist or other urologist or any now i ask uh, ridwan bhai to present his paper thank you very much uh, dr pradeep and the producer for your kind words uh briefly asan uh, was behind me for a class for quite long so uh, i skipped all the time and later on i what topic we are going to talk uh, then i say okay let me uh, talk on something to popularize uh, uh, diagnosis so lower urinary tract symptom you see is called a symptom but is a diagnosis and clinicians are compelled to make a diagnosis of chronic or acute LUTS uh, without specifying the cause because in many situations cause may not be very obvious uh, and may not be physical and that's why there is uh, 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 an, an element of area of uncertainty and lack of information on the totality Uh, in etiologic terms in pathophysiologic terms and also in clinical terms so uh, luts is is called a relatively com- common complaint in adult men and uh, many of them have a major impact on quality of life have a subsequent economic burden the so quality of life it is now said that if we treat many patients with or most patients with chronic disease to have a life expectancy like that without the disease and to have a q quality of life which is abbreviated as q o l so uh, and some people in the world say that quality of life is more important than life because if you do not have the quality of life what is the use of that life you cannot dress and dress yourself you cannot self care uh, then this is loss of quality of life so luts is a symptom which compromises the quality of life 
more important uh, than the life expectancy. So lower urinary tract symptom refers to a group of clinical symptoms which arise from the bladder, urinary sphincter, urethra, and in man, most commonly the prostate. Although LUTS is a, it was primarily introduced as a preferred term for patients with prostatism. Now it's more commonly applied to men with lower urinary tract symptoms, and it appears it, it also affects women. So LUTS affects approximately 40% of the older men above 70. So it's a highly prevalent condition, and uh, the quality of life is compromised. So maybe we need to address this issue uh, when a patient comes to us. So the group of urinary symptoms under LUTS are triggered by an obstruction, abnormal anatomical abnormality of the urinary tract, infection, or irritation of the urethra, bladder, bladder neck, urinary sphincter, and or prostate. So LUTS can also be brought about by medical conditions such as lifestyle choices that affect the lower immunity. So conditions such as diabetes mellitus, obesity, and high blood can contribute to lower urinary tract symptoms. Likewise, bladder irritants such as smoking, excessive caffeine, alcohol intake, and certain food choice uh, can produce LUTS. So LUTS can also be caused by neurologic health conditions or injury to the spinal cord or the pelvis. Both men and women are diagnosed with lower genetic symptoms nowadays, not limited to prostate, but it is most often diagnosed in men. LUTS is not a normal part of the aging process which says that we need to look for patients presenting with LUTS for a diagnosis. It is never a normal thing to be considered. At the end, we may not find a diagnosis, but still it is important that uh, we make a, try make a diagnosis or exclude some important differential diagnosis. Uh, which have potentially sinister outcomes. In addition to uh, uh, organic diseases, uh, conditions like overactive bladder, chronic pelvic pain from interstitial cystitis, prostatitis, or urinary tract infections typically experience lower urinary tract symptoms associated with urine storage, irritation, or inflammation. So if you look at the epidemiology of LUTS, it, the LUTS increases with age. The prevalence of nocturia in older women is about older, older people, older men, is about 78%. Older men have a higher incidence of LUTS than older women. This we know in the epidemiology. Around one third of men will develop urinary tract LUTS, of which the principal underlying cause is benign enlargement of prostate. One symptom arises. Their progress is variable and unpredictable with about one third of patients improving, one third remaining stable, and one third deteriorating. This is the outcome. 
So every patient who is presenting is that one of the one third of the patient are likely to deteriorate progressively and is a condition for concern. It is estimated that the lifetime risk of developing microscopic prostate cancer is about 30%, developing clinical disease in 10%, and dying from prostate cancer is about 3% to males. Lower urinary tract symptoms can be categorized as being related to urinary storage or urinary voiding. So two types of LUTS. One is storage dysfunction. The other is voiding dysfunction. You and the, the word means that one has problem with storing urine in the urinary tract. The other have normal storage but difficulty in voiding of this. So the main storage symptoms, which are considered, we, we, we will call LUTS a, a storage symptom type or a voiding dysfunction type. Uh, based on some of the symptoms. So one of the symptoms of stories is increased frequency of micturition. So num number of times described go to the toilet during working, waking hours. For men, it is usually four to eight times. Although, of course, this depends on how much you drink. So usually, if it is more than eight times in 24 hours, we will call it an increased frequency during waking hours. So increased frequency of maturation is a storage uh, dysfunction producing LUTS. The next common storage dysfunction is nocturia. Means getting up at night to pass urine. So normally, most of you who are young, listen, you do not wake up at night for micturition. But many older who are listening, they have to wake up one or in the early morning for voiding. So if it is more than uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, we, we cannot define it by a number. So this nocturia increases with age. So as we get older, it is four to five normal for men over 70 to get up at least one. So at least one is perfect. But, but if it is two, three times, and the habit of fluid intake will determine how much. But all nocturia, so whenever the patient, a patient has frequent, whether this is pathological or non-pathological, we always ask a question, whether you wake up at night from sleep. So if there is diurnal porridge, but not waking up at, from sleep at night is unlikely to be an organic condition. And people who do not have sleep, adequate sleep, they may have frequent urination. That may also not be organic. And some people are tense, anxious, anxiety disorder, or even depressive illness can cause a patient to wake up at night and after waking, he takes two glasses of water simultaneously. So which wakes him up again. So whether the patient drinks water at night after coming from toilet is an important question to be asked. But patients who have polyuria of metabolic arrhythmia, hormonal arrhythmia, such as diabetes insipidus or diabetes mellitus, 
or even chronic renal failure, patient may have nocturia. So nocturia is really should be considered as pathological uh, if the patient has diurnal polyuria. The next storage symptom is called urgency. So a sudden strong feeling, uh, go now or you might leak urine. This becomes more common as you get older. However, frequency is an important symptom of lower urinary tract syndrome, the LUTS, and is a storage dysfunction syndrome. Other storage dysfunction syndrome is called incontinence. So a term referring to accidental leakage of urine, it can vary from few drops to a flood of urine. In older men, urgent incontinence is mostly seen. This is an urgent need to urinate, but you leak before you can get to the toilet. Finally, incontinence. This is called urgency incontinence. So these four symptoms are mainly caused by storage dysfunction and are called a storage dysfunction. So the voiding dysfunction symptoms are decreased stream. So the speed of flow of urine has decreased compared to when he was younger. This happens to all men in some degree. So prostata, agar moto dure jai na, agar moto uh, uh, stream hoye pass kore na tokhon etake decreased stream bolbe and this is a voiding dysfunction tale a symptom ta is not a storage dysfunction is voiding dysfunction another is hesitancy when you get to the bathroom and you are ready to pass urine nothing happens for a few seconds or even longer then after prostate korte boshlen this is hesitancy of urination and this is a voiding symptom. Intermittency, a term meaning to pass urine to a broken stop start stream rather than a continuous one. So intermittency in urination is a voiding symptom. Feeling of incomplete empty, feeling that you still need to pass urine again, even though you have just tried to empty your bladder. So, feeling of in incomplete voiding or incomplete emptying is avoiding dysfunction. Dribbling of urine. pure incontinence noy. Abong. Into there are few drops of urine coming out. It's called dribbling of urine. And incontinence or wetness occurring at any time as the bladder feels. Uh, this is part of the urgency incontinence or patient has no continence. Terminal dribbling, where urine stream starts off reasonably strong, but slows to a dribble towards the end, and therefore goes on and on. Then prostap hoye jawar poro, aro prostap hobe hobe monohche, hoye ek pota, dui pota, ba aro beshi prostap hoye. It's a type of dribbling. So be agenista shop shome rognoi, abong ita rognoi, abong ita korte hoye bolle Islam door me ekta kulup nevar ekta des.
post fixation dribble uh, uh, you dress yourself walk away from the toilet and then took some look leak some urine these different types of dribble have different causes and therefore different types of treatment the dribbling of urine has to be So as I say, that nocturia may be pathological, may not be pathological. So a number of causes are there which can cause nocturia, that means drinking too much fluid before going to bed, reduced bladder capacity as we get older, bladders tend not to store as much urine as we can during our early adult life. So bladder retraining in those patients can help to increase the amount of urine the bladder can store. Having a different body clock. That means, kare night duty, abar kare day duty, uh, then it might cause nocturia. Diabetes, if not controlled, mellitus, or even insipidus, because there is extra urine is produced. If the bladder is unstable or irritated as a result of infection, so patients with infection have increased frequency of mixturation of polyuria and nocturia. They will be compelled to wake up at night from sleep uh, if it is due to infection. I don't know. So swollen ankle and flea with polyuria means there is fluid overload. So these are some of the voiding symptoms as well as the voiding dysfunction syndrome and the storage dysfunction syndrome which constitute lower rheumatic. So in assessment, we try take a general history to identify possible causes and comorbidities, including a review of all medication, including herbal and over-the-counter medication, because medications could be an important cause of polyuria and sometimes nocturia or even voiding dysfunction. For example, in elderly patients on commonly used drugs like antidepressants, tricyclic antidepressants uh, can cause voiding dysfunction. So there are many other drugs which can cause voiding dysfunction. So examination of the abdomen including external genitalia and the digital rectal examination should be undertaken when we cannot fit the diagnosis appropriately or we cannot diagnose it in other form. Examination should include measurement of blood pressure, signs symptoms of uremia, presence of a palpable bladder, kidneys, the prostate, and palpable nodes. We need to look for all these physical signs to see that the patient does not have a that flag where we need to urgently investigate or refer and confirm the diagnosis. So urine deficit test you can do easily to detect blood, glucose, protein, lymphocyte, nitrates, etc., which can indicate urinary infection or other uh, common conditions like diabetic colitis. Men with bothersome LUTA should complete a urinary frequency volume chart and a validated symptom chart. So that, that things are available, international prostate symptom score, if you know, I understand that IPS score, which is done for symptom scoring for prostatism and the indications for surgery or other terms can be developed on IPS score. As well as the scoring also indicates need for medical treatment. So IPSS score is an important score to consider during, uh, for evaluating patients with LUT. Renal function test we often do to see that the, there is no uh, reduction in renal function, which may cause polyuria and nocturia, and should only be performed if renal impairment is. So, uh, it, uh, commonly one might think that renal disease means there will be low urine output. So, that is a feature of acute renal failure. In patients with chronic renal failure, under, very understated, 
patients often have polyuria and nocturia, which is an osmotic polyuria due to presence of high urea in the urine. So urea is excreted in the urine and causes. So, <clears throat> uh, when assessing a patient of LUTS, we say that you need to look for the red flag signs and symptoms. Not only for LUTS, in all medical conditions and symptoms when you evaluate, we have to look at the first thing. If you don't have a problem, you don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. With every disease, you look for red flag, which indicate urgent intervention, urgent treatment, urgent evaluation, or even rapture. So those red flag signs associated with LUTS is frank hematuria, especially if it's persistent. Cannot remain idle it is an indication for investigation and or reference. If not frank hematuria, even persistent microscopic hematuria is an indication for evaluation and or reference. Recurrent culture positive LUTS with recurrent culture positive UTI is a red flag. Persistent pain in bladder or urethra, red flag. Presence of a pelvic mass on abdominal palpation or ultrasound is a red flag. Developing acute retention of urine or chronic retention of urine is a red flag. And, and uh, as we said that nocturia, significant nocturia without sleep disturbance, a previous urological cancer or pelvic radiotherapy, abnormal digital rectal examination or raised PSA, presence of penilation or painful phimosis. These are called red flag symptoms and signs, which indicate that patient requires urgent evaluation, investigation, and referral for the general. When we refer the patient to a specialist or a specialist assessment, what they do? They usually do that they measure the flow rate and postpoidal volume measure. So these two are important indicators of voiding the so any or both are present, the reduced flow rate on urophlometry <coughs> and post void residual urine volume on ultrasound are the most important indicators of the <coughs> Urinary frequency and volume chart can indicate whether this is pathological or is an overactive bladder. Sometimes cystoscopy or ultrasound imaging of the upper urinary tract are clinical indicators, as for example, history of recurrent infections, sterile pyuria, hematuria, profound symptoms, pain or chronic retention of you need to do an ultrasound, and sometimes cystoscopy. Multi-channel cystometry if men are considering surgery. Can be done. Offer PET test only if the degree of urinary incontinence is serious. Consider PSA test if LUTS are suggestive of bladder outlet obstruction, secondary to prostate. The prostate feels abnormal on rectal examination and the patient is concerned about prostate. So these are indications for doing PSA. So a lot of differential diagnosis. <clears throat> it has to be considered when we are assessing a patient of LUTS. 
So the differential, the most common differential diagnosis in men after the age of 40, 50, uh, is benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPA, with urinary obstruction. So for LUPS, whenever we see a male patient beyond the age of 50, we, we try to confirm whether the patient has uh, prostatism or not. So an ultrasound or a digital rectal examination can often uh, uh, diagnose the condition BPA. Detrusal muscle weakness and or instability. Again, with older age, and some patients have irritable bladder, like irritable bowel. So they have uh, increased frequency of excretion, urgency, and many stories are avoiding symptoms together with detrusal muscle weakness and instability. Weakness can also occur in neurologic conditions and it can occur in infiltrative bladder muscular disease like interstitial cystitis or lymphomatous infiltration or other malignant deposits uh, can cause detrusal muscle weakness and instability. Urinary tract infection the most common cause of LUTS in women. However, above the prostatic age, that is above the age of 50, or the frequency of urinary tract infections in male and female are almost equal. But women in the reproductive years of life has high frequency of urinary tract infection compared to rare occurrence of urinary infection in men. So in, in male, before the prostatic age, adult male, a single attack of UTI is an indication for infection. Because this is not common in male. So there may be some anatomical abnormality of the urinary tract. Because of congenital or acquired conditions may produce UTI age. But in females, we need not treat, we need not investigate a single attack, even multiple attacks. You need to see if the patient has persisted. Chronic prostatitis is a disease which can chronically produce lower urinary tract symptoms, but cannot be diagnosed on usual ways of diagnosis. So, chronic prostatitis is not uncommon. It can complicate. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, it can continuous urinary outflow of obstruction. It can compli compli complicate in patients with gonorrhea, sexually transmitted diseases, in patients with diabetes and other immunodeficient conditions. Patient may have infection in the prostate, producing lower urinary tract. So chronic prostatitis is an important cause of lower urinary tract. It is not only benign hyperplasia of the prostate. Prostatic cancer can also present with LUTS. But many of them, you will find one or the other of the red flag symptoms inside. So blood PSA is a red flag. Today's PSA is a red flag. And we should consider evaluation. Prostatic hyperplasia or even tumors of the bladder, urothelial cancer, even uh, bladder wall cancers or infiltration from outside by malignant deposits in the pelvis that can cause give rise to LUTS, where we expect red flag. So, red flags are the clue. To go to sinister diagnosis, the worst diagnosis, the bad diagnosis in patients with LUTS. Some of the neurological diseases, most common neurological diseases, which causes voiding and or storage dysfunction, are the multiple sclerosis. 
তো মাল্টিপল স্ক্লোরোসিস মানে হচ্ছে মাল্টিপল মানে মাল্টিপল আমি তাহলে দেয়ার উইল বি এভিডেন্স অফ মাল্টিফোকাল নিউরোলজিক ইনভলভ তো বাইলেটারাল স্পাইনাল কর্ড ইনভলভমেন্ট ইজ আ মাল্টিফোকাল ইনভলভ দিস সাইড ইজ ওয়ান তো মেনি پیشنটস উইথ মাল্টিপল স্ক্লেরোসিস প্রেজেন্টস উইথ অ্যাকিউট প্যারাপ্লেজ অ্যাকিউট প্যারাপ্লেজ সরি মানে কি ক্লট টু ফেনিস in addition to its well known other symptoms of multiple sclerosis so that is a common condition so if in a younger patient acutely developed lut uh, we should not forget multiple sclerosis so this is there in this country uh, it will show you an spinal cord disease other diseases like a spinal involvement in the spinal cord for the tumors or injury or other forms of demyelinating compressive disorders of the spinal cord can cause LUTS cord icoine syndrome that means basic of anguish uh, causing compression of the cord icoine can cause cord icoine syndrome and in that also LUTS coronatic Polyuria secondary to diabetes mellitus excessive fluid intake and diuretic should be considered always and patients as it because there is important relationship of the brain hippocampus and lower urinary tract syndrome and psychiatric disorder so in many neurotic disorder they are not major psycho minor psychotic disorder even anxiety disorder can cause these major symptoms and often if we do not find presence of any other disease organic disease and there is feature suggestive of scoring diagnosing a depressive illness or generalized anxiety disorder that themselves can cause uh, lower urinary overactive bladder refers to urinary urgency usually accompanied by frequency and not fury with or without urgency in content in the absence of uti other obvious pathology this then we diagnose them as overactive bladder as i was telling earlier the irritable bladder so overactive bladder is quite common 29.8 million adults over the age of 40 experience overactive bladder in the united states right in kuti look over the age of 40 experience overactive bladder the american urologic association guidelines provide a framework for treating this patient with first thorough headline options as well as additional treatments for special occasions while clinician should always consider behavioral modifications for overactive bladder before other forms of intervention this presentation for so variety of uh medication pharmaceutical ingredient uh, like uh, mira background or solifenacid this drug can cause improvement conditions of operation and there are many other so uh, in a study published in 2018 said the combination of mirabegron and solifenacin uh, uh, are effective in refractory overactive bladder so man- management for men whose luts are not bothersome or complicated it is reasonable to offer watchful waiting 
watchful waiting is an important treatment consideration. It is also known as masterly inactive. That means you will be a master but will not act. For example, in many cases of viral infections, even during COVID, they say that you categorize the disease. No symptom, no treatment. Treatment is symptomatic for mild and moderate disease. We need to treat when the patient has severe disease. So these are so the management E for the LUTS is not applying one after another medication or going for surgery. So it is said that watchful waiting is the most important way of treatment for LUTS unless we find a specific diagnosis or cause for the LUTS. So watchful waiting and a masterly inactivity is very much expected when we assess, treat patients with LUTS. So what, what is Watchful waiting. Watchful waiting is giving reassurance and information and advice on some of the lifestyle measures, such as reduction of fluid intake, moderation of fluid intake. It can cause a worse, fluid, increased fluid intake can cause a worsening of symptoms. Reduction in the intake of fluids containing alcohol, caffeine. Artificial sweeteners, together with avoidance of carbonated drinks, will give symptom reduction in patients with LUTS without a cause. Destruction techniques such as breathing exercises, squeezing the penny, and perennial pressure, which may all help to take the mind <laughs> off the arts. <laughs> Optimizing medications to Optimizing ensure medication. that drugs promoting urinary frequency are kept to a minimum. We should not use. The patient should be reviewed if symptoms change or become worse. For men with mild or moderate bothersome LUTS, discuss active surveillance, reassurance, lifestyle advice, or active intervention, conservative management, drug treatment, or service. So offer men considering treatment for LUTS an assessment of their baseline symptoms and validated symptom scores, such as IPS, prostatic symptom scores. Surgical treatment is generally reserved for men who have failed or are unable to tolerate drug treatment, or for those who have developed some So these are the indications. The ultrasonographic size of the prostate is not an indication. Surgery. surgery indication based on symptom, symptom score, IPS. And symptom score will dictate whether to treat a patient or not. So in conservative management <coughs> for storage symptoms, supervise bladder training, advise on fluid intake, lifestyle advice, and if needed, containment products can be used for a storage symptom. Supervised pelvic floor muscle training for men with a stress urinary incontinence uh, caused by prostatectomy can be done. Advise men to continue exercises for at least three months before considering other options. Pelvic floor exercises are difficult, important, and useful. Do not offer penile clamp. Containment products for men with a storage LUTS, particularly urinary incontinence, the temporary pads or collecting devices to achieve social continence until a diagnosis and management plan have been done. External collecting devices, sheath appliances, pubic pressure urinal. Uh, before in, uh, using the indwelling catheterizer. 
enduring catheterization should not be used very early, should be delayed as far as possible. Conservative treatment for voiding symptom, consider intermittent bladder catheterization or dwelling urethral or suprapubic catheterization. If LUTS cannot be corrected by less invasive bladder training is less effective for voiding symptoms. Men with post-micturation dribble should be shown how to perform urethral milking, milking of the urethra. ट do not offer homeopathy phytotherapy or acupuncture for lut moderate to severe luts offer an alpha block alpha zosin doxazosin amsulosin darazosin these are all alpha blockers for overactive bladder we can use anticholinergic Mirabegron, a selective beta-3 agonist, beta-3 agonist, can be used second line for patients in whom anticholinergic are used. Surute Mirabeg diya shuru gara jaya. Step-wise treatment kore jaya. Kono tarahura nai, jar karan nai kono tarahura nai. Tarahura kore lai aapne fail kore bhen tarahura nai. Asasthe kore lai fail kore bhen asasthe kore lai. Both are some moderate to severe LUTs and the prostate estimated to be larger than 30 micrograms or PSA greater than 1.4 nanogram per day. Consider an alpha blocker plus 5 ARI. Treatment should be considered continued for at least a year. The storage symptom despite treatment with an alpha blocker alone, consider adding an anticholinergic. Consider offering a late afternoon loop diuretic for nocturnal polyuria sometimes. Considering offering oral desbopressin for nocturnal polyuria if other medical causes have been excluded. So desbopressin is an important pharmacotherapy for patients with body. If LUTs do not respond to drug treatment, this discuss active surveillance. Uh, reassurance and lifestyle advice without immediate treatment and with regular follow up or active intervention such as conservative treatment for surgery tadanafil a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor is being evaluated as a treatment for lutes but should only currently be used as part of a randomized control trial management of retention acute retention Immediately catheterize men with acute treatment. Offer an alpha blocker to men before removing the case. Chronic retention. Chronic retention is defined as residual volume greater than one liter, greater than one liter, or presence of a palpable, percussible bladder after use. Serum creatinine and imaging of the urinary tract should be done in patients in all patients with chronic retention. If there is impaired renal function dysfunction or hydronephrosis, catheterize the patient and consider surgery. Normal renal function, no hydro. If there is no bothersome LUTs, then treat as for impaired renal function or hydronephrosis. If there are bothersome LUTs, then considering offering surgery. Intermittent self-catheterization or cathetic. Care administered catheterization instead of surgery in men whom you suspect have markedly impaired bladder function. So uh, the outcome, long-term outcome, unless there are red flags, is excellent. And LUTs, I want to popularize this term that half of the patients with LUTs do not require any medical or surgery. So thank you very much. Thank you for patient hearing. I will let you.
Thank you so much, sir, for your excellent presentation. I would like to request our chairperson to say a few words now. Thank you very much. Actually, what I say to the very extensive discussion of LUTS covering almost every chapter of LUTS in male and in female. Even he has touched the surgical management, lifestyle changes, or different types of conservative managements. So, uh, as LUTS, as it is said, and it is a uh, non sex perspective or non open perspective, and it requires the uh, multidisciplinary approaches and the patients concerning is very important. The patient usually does not come to the LUTS in a mild symptom, especially in case of male. Because LUTS in female is a or UTA infections in case of female become very acute within 48 to 72 hours. So sometimes the LUTS, which is, uh, which I can say broadly, be either posturing enlargement or overactive bladder or mixture of these, may present with different types of complications, which uh, Professor Liberal has correctly said and extensively described. So thank you very much, sir, and Ridwan Bai, for nice description. We are enlightened with different symptoms of LUTS and Amadir Mane with the Onek Postal with the Echo Nishigas, the Onek Postal with the Echo Amatuna Korai with the Ridwan Bai Hidye, Amatuna Kulay with the Amra Onek Kisu Jamtubarbo. Again, thanks, BD physician, especially Dr. Manmar, Dr. Hassan, who is a very active uh, doctor and all mono a COVID situation at Matoshe, a academic session continuously challenged Chaman Shutaina, even the discipline which I got to put it. Again, thank you, BD physician, for asking me to chair this session. And especially, did one by a presentation, Ami chair for a Dashume, Amakasi Kup, Yer Lakasilo, Mani Oshai Oshai Lakasil. মানে এত বড় একজন ট্যালেন্টেড ডিজাইন প্রফেসর যা বলছেন উনার তো চেয়ার করব আমি আসলে আগ্রহী শ্রোতা আমরা শুনতেছিলাম अगेन थैंक यू রিদন ভাই ফর নাইস ভেরি বিউটিফুল এন্ড এক্সটেনসিভ ভিভিড ডেসক্রিপশন অফ দ্য এলিটিস কারো হতাশা হওয়ার কিছু নেই উনি অনেক কিছু বলে গেছে এখানে এবং আমাদের ডায়াগনোসিস এবং ম্যানেজমেন্ট সম্বন্ধে এত সুন্দরভাবে এত এক্সটেনসিভলি বলেছেন যে এটাতে আপনাদের স্পষ্ট স্কোপও কমে গেছে अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, another one question I share, probably over 60 questions. Before I get to select some, I mean, to Ismail Patpuri, sir, ke bolbo, che, amader shate kichu bolte. Professor Ismail Patpuri, sir, Ashwin? Ismail Patpuri, sir, um, is the principal of Select Women's Medical College and president of BSITD. Uni ashka amader shate ashat panelist shate. ceremony move on korchi tale ami kichu selected questions um, present korchi apnader dui joner kache ridwan sir ke ekta question korchi how can we differentiate urethral syndrome from luts uh, urethral syndrome uh, syndrome arising from urethra is included yeah. in the luts Symptoms arising from the urethra, urinary bladder, prostate, uh, all together are considered urethral. So, urethral syndrome, urethral syndrome will also be included in the idea. Okay, sir. Um, sir, um, another common question is to shop antibiotic of choice. Nahi hai. So, um, sir, antibiotic of choice is what you have and that is a question for pregnant lady coming with UTI, especially um, 
uh, tapajara um, CKD patient, uh, renal transplanter patient, asymptomatic bacteria jadir, uh, tapur um, jadir amra recurrent u- uh, urinary tract infection patchi. In other, jondomother antibiotics of choice care come home. <laughs> এটা কিন্তু আজকের আলোচনার বিষয় নয় আজকের আলোচনার বিষয় হচ্ছে তারপরে এতগুলা তুমি কন্ডিশনের মানে স্পেশাল কন্ডিশনের নাম বলে দিচ্ছ এতগুলা তো আর বলা সম্ভব নয় ইন জেনারেল জেনারেল সে মোর দেন নাইনটি পার্সেন্ট অফ দি পেশেন্ট ইউ ক্যান ট্রিট দেম উইথ ওয়ান অফ দি ক্লোরোকোইনোল ওর ওয়ান অফ দি সিফোলোস্পিন সেকেন্ড অর থার্ড জেনারেশন সিফোলোস সো দিস both these groups of the are adequately safe effective uh, and broad spectrum to cover most of the europathogens which can cause urinary infection so uh, in, in a special situations let us not discuss now today because we are discussing on lutes so these are the two groups of drugs you can also use other drugs also you know that the to so say and duration can be very short three days pose is enough for uncomplicated uti and a uh, five dose uh, days course is uh, excellent for more than 95% of uncomplicated urinary tract infection so uncomplicated urinary tract infection we do not we should not use uh, excessive medication okay sir um sir um in case of gp practice especially in the periphery is it justifiable to initiate treatment for luts without doing any extensive investigation a clean no okay. sir ridon sir apnar camera off probably sir am camera ki camera off the ami ektu shore jete hoyeche to ei jonno amar camera ta off kore okay okay sir sure sir okay um sir a clean no to treatment of luts without diagnosis even when we cannot make a diagnosis that means we exclude all the possible organic diseases causing aluteus we will not jump to medication pharmacotherapy we will go to lifestyle measures we will go to fluid uh, ration measures and we go to exercise rather than giving medical treatment because the soon you give medical treatment the soon you fail because many of these drugs will not work so we need to go very slow we need to say that this is benign this is non progressive this is unlikely to cause any severe uh, complication in the long run uh, let us try at uh, uh, just with this symptom rather than trying a cure because these are age related conditions most of them which are non organic and cannot be uh, uh, cannot be cured altogether so we need to try give them a way such that they remain with tolerable symptoms and they try accept the symptoms so this will be the attitude of management no drug okay sir um sir ami ajker final question ta ekhon kore felbo um jodi onek question ache ajker um in case of uh, diagnosed cases of insulin resistance is there any way we can um, prevent luts Oh my god you see it, it is not easy to diagnose insulin resistance insulin resistance if you say uh, the etiology of type 2 diabetes mellitus is a tissue resistance to insulin in the uh, periphery so uh, that that is not a problem problem is uncontrolled diabetes mellitus so we need to control whatever the resistance to insulin how much insulin dose he requires uh, this this becomes an a special case to be treated with a specialist and it's not the insulin is the uncontrolled hyperglycemia is the cause of polyuria and allergy so uh, insulin is not causing diabetes is not causing the uncontrolled diabetes causing polyuria and should be treated with control of diabetes ওকে স্যার ওকে থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ আমরা আজকে আমাদের ওয়েবিনার শেষে চলে এসেছি আমি এক্সট্রিমলি গ্রেটফুল টু টুডে স্পিকার প্রফেসর মোহাম্মদ রিদমানুর রহমান স্যার ফর দিস অফেন নেগলেক্টেড টপিক অফ এলইউটিএস স্পেশাল থ্যাঙ্কস টু টুডেস চেয়ারপারসন প্রফেসর প্রদীপ কুমার দত্ত স্যার 
We would like to acknowledge our gratitude to Dr. Mohamed Liakotilla, Executive Director of Biopharma Limited, for being our scientific partner for today's webinar. Finally, I would like to thank, extend my thanks to Dr. Yasan Khan and BD Physicians for organizing this event. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for participating and sending us wonderful questions. Amia Khan, um, Dr. Uh, I'm going to the chairperson, Professor Pradeep Kumar Dr. Sarke Bolpo, to give you closing words for the day. I'm going to ask you a session to share with you. Confusion has been given to you. Actually, I have a lot of questions. 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 Sir, we can answer the question, sir. Dile bhalo be, sir. Ye to amra time hai sir. Aap sir kichhu selected question answer diye the paran sir chahiye. Ami to select korte bhalo. Tumne select korte dile bolte bhalo. Sir, um, ami to pura mene khata bhore felam dui cha. Tapro. Acha. Ekhane koi ekta koi ekta prosno ami dekla. Ekta bolo pregnancy the jodi UTI hoy. Ita idhar ne antibiotic use korbe. Ita jodi asker yar partner. पजिटिटिक Pregnant woman, the uh, patient should be treated uh, preferably with uh, amoxicillin or cefalosporin group of drugs. And one of the uh, drugs now in Bangladesh is uh, phosphomycin, which is required only the single dose. Program. Akbar infection over for a pregnancy is the second time. Infection 20 days in the hoy. The patient should be prophylactically treated. Up to the delivery. Among a prophylactic treatment of cephalosporin or amoxicillin, or the low dose nitrofurant and the egg, come up to delivery the Chalatevos. Aretabos to the Glande, that is cranberry juice, UK TV's Korajavina. Eta Gita Akiku Balahu to cranberry juice. Eta the Agdona, Yatake, type A, and to sign at this Balahoi. Eta it prevents the addition of the bacteria. To the epithelium. A Junage Tinshamel Park Day, Uskola Balahuja, Recurrence Studies Comija. Into Agon Balaja Tashulakuno, Ericon Porionic to Boro Study, Recon Dakata, Ajun can be reduced and I can recur and utilize Uskora Hon. On Nanajaguno, the postage is at a Gidama subject, it's a random purpose when they UK Hoik in a random one in the UK or Tomoma. खुबीज ठीक न खुबी डायबिटिक 
just after the meal, just when it's two hours after the lunch. Again, thank you very much, Professor Ridhir Raman, for a nice and uh, extensive discussion of the LUTS. Uh, we have learned a lot of things from his discussion. I also thank you, uh, BD physician, especially Dr. Manna and today's moderator, everyone. So thank you very much. Also, thank you the audience and the other organizers of this presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, on